All right, for part three of the project, uh, what you're going to be doing is drawing a pine cone, drawing a flower. What I'm going to do is I am going to attach videos uh, to this uh, assignment that you'll see. It's called Doodling in Math. Uh, those videos will explain this as well of how to go about doing this. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to teach you how to create this using a protractor. Now, some people do not have a protractor at home. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to make your own. Um, you will see in the video why we use a 135, really 135.7 degree angle. Please make sure you're watching it. But all you need to do is take a sheet of paper. I'm using computer paper. You can use line paper, that is fine. What you're gonna do is you will fold it over so you dog ear it like you would a page to come back to later. When you do this, what ends up happening is you actually have here a 90 degree angle, okay? So here's a 90 degree angle, here's a 90 degree angle. This angle cut right here is cutting 90 degrees in half. So what that is is 45 degrees. Now that comes out to 135. In order to make this a little bit better, we're just gonna take this and notice I'm just gonna Pull it back just a little bit. You can see that it's lifted. And what we do is we just fold it now, just a little bit off. Now to create our angle, all we need to do is take this, and what we're gonna do is we're going to rip it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're just going to rip this sheet off. When I do this, what I have do just done was created a protractor that has a roughly 135 degrees. Um, in the video, she calls it an angletron, but what we have here is a nicely done angle that is approximately 137.5 degrees. Now, what we're going to do with this is we're going to start in the middle of the paper. What you're going to do is draw some sort of leaf, however detailed you want to be. You can make it wide, you can make it narrow, that's up to you. But you start somewhere in the center. Okay, I'm just putting a dot there. So starting somewhere in the center, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, what we do is start in the center and then you draw a leaf and you can make it as big, as wide as you want. So leaf, leaf, wow, there we go. So starting right here is the center. What we do is we start with the corner of this, which you know what, to make this a little bit easier to see, I'm gonna outline the edge of this because it's white on white and it's difficult to see on a video. So you could kind of see this a little bit better. There we go. So you don't need to label the 137.5 if you don't want to. What we do is we just put it right through the center of it. And from there, we just go out. We know that this original one was this tall. Each one after this is just gonna be a little bit taller than the next. So what we do is we line it up right across there that one was this tall so we just make the next one a little bit taller a little bit past and then i'm going to make the same leaf pattern as i just did now i'm not that great at drawing i'm going to do the best i can but each one after this we rotate it around we line it up this middle part right here right where it's at here and then we make the next leaf a little bit bigger so that line was there, so we're gonna make it a little bit bigger here. And then you keep making this pattern a little bit bigger each time. And each time you do this, you're going to keep rotating it around. So the, the last one was here, so we're gonna go a little bit bigger. We're gonna go right here. So then you keep going around. You keep going around with this. Now we can't go perfect because they're, not, they're gonna start overlapping. So let's get rid of that part. And we're going to just keep spinning it around. That's where this one was at. So spin this around, line up this here with where we left off, and we go a little bit bigger. So now we're here, and notice I'm spinning the paper around. And what you'll notice is as you keep doing this, spinning it around and around and around and around, you're going to get a larger and larger and larger pine cone looking thing, a bigger looking flower. And you're going to notice that. As you go like this, sometimes they overlap, sometimes they don't. But you're gonna keep making this over and over until you fill up the paper. So there's this one. So as you're doing this, you're gonna start seeing a spiraling pattern appear. So you're gonna keep making these over and over and over again. And when it's done, 
I'll go a little bit larger again. When it's done, you're going to start filling up the page. Now, the thing is, you need to watch the other videos that I've posted called the doodling and math. You're going to need to watch those because what's going to happen is she's going to go through and explain what the final product will look like a little bit more. But you keep going back from that one that you just made. And what you'll notice is they start filling in the gaps. And notice it's just spinning it around, spinning it around. And they fill in the gaps. And as you keep going, it's going to get a little bit harder because you're going to start reaching the edge of the one. But you keep following this pattern, and it becomes this really cool looking flowery pine cone type thing. And they keep filling in the gaps. What you'll do from here, feel free to color it. Feel free to outline it. Here I got this marker. You know, if you want to use a black marker to outline it. I always like outlining things in black marker. I always feel like it looks nicer. But you could follow these lines. And you could see that as it's getting bigger, it still has the same shape. But they get larger each time. And I want you to keep doing this until you get to the end. Sound of the marker is nice on paper. I know some people like that. So as you keep going, you'll notice that you'll see these in clumps of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You're going to see those clumps going around. So you'll continue making these until you get so far until you can't go any further on the paper. If you have, if your protractor is running out, try to go as far as you can with it. Maybe make a larger angle might be better. But you could see here that it's starting to become this really cool looking flower. This really cool looking pine cone. I'll grab the pine cone here in a moment that you saw in the last video. Where even here, I'm doing this a little bit faster. I want you taking your time. I want you making this look better than mine. And like I said, I'm not that great at drawing. You can make this as big, as small. The wider you make it, the more room it'll take up. And you'll see that it keeps spinning and spinning. Feel free to have fun with the coloring on this. Uh, see if you could see the spiraling action. But color it, you know, or... In the fall time, maybe you want to make this orange and yellow and red. You know, just have a nice time coloring it. Uh, you need to have the whole thing colored uh, in order to receive full credit. Uh, for extra credit, what you can do is you can do a second one. So in other words, to do a second one, using the same angolatron, as she calls it in the video, uh, I'm going to flip this over. We'll outline it a little bit more so you can see it just because of all the markings. I want you to do another leaf shape. So flipping it over, maybe what you're doing this time, you know, starting and maybe being a little more innate with it, ornate. So now you got this like really fancy looking leaf that's right here. And then going from there, rotating it around going a little bit bigger this next time, and you're making a more ornate looking one. So again, for your extra credit one, I want you making it a little bit, I want it to be different, but maybe making it look a little fancier. And you could go the opposite way if you flipped it around, like, hey, I ran out of space. I could use the other side of it because it really is the same thing. You just have to make sure you know how tall it was when you started. So it might be advantageous for you when you're doing this to mark it, try to do the best you can uh, and go around. Again, you're gonna outline it, you're gonna color it. And then if you can, try to find the Fibonacci spiral in this. That is the last part of the project. Again, extra credit if you do multiple of these. Watch the video to see how this goes, what you will notice. Um, it's kind of, what you'll notice here is there is 
three that it starts with, one, one, two, three, it's actually going to take four. The next one will be here, roughly. Uh, the next one after that will be here. Uh, that'll be four, five, actually, yeah, five, six. The next one will be close to this, seven, and then the next one will be here, eight kind of thing. You're just going to keep going in spirals, getting them larger and larger. That's the last part of your project right there.